everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and today I'm going to show you how to take some boring boiled eggs and turn it into something really special and really great. So today we are making son-in-law eggs and you're probably wondering what the heck is a son-in-law egg and why is it called that? I was shocked. A son-in-law egg is a deep fried boiled egg. The outside is crispy and golden brown. The egg white is cooked all the way through, but the center yolk is still yolky and creamy. But why is it called a son-in-law egg? A son-in-law egg is an egg that a mother-in-law fries for her son-in-law when he's not acting right. He's not acting like husband material. He doesn't have his act together. He's not treating her daughter with the care and respect that she deserves as a woman. So what the mother-in-law does is when she's fed up, she takes these eggs and she fries them. And it's a threat to show him what's going to happen to his eggs if he doesn't get his act together. And by eggs, I mean his little hums. She's going to deep fry those bad boys. <laughs> so I Googled this. I swear it's true. I'm not making it up even though it sounds like I am. So let's get into the cooking portion of the video so that you can do this at home. Our recipe begins by making our tamarind sauce. We will pound down our palm sugar in a mortar. You could also use white sugar or brown sugar. Then to a saucepan, we'll add water, our fish sauce, tamarind paste, and our pounded palm sugar. We'll place our saucepan on the stovetop on high heat and bring our sauce to a boil. You might have to put in some work to really break up that tamarind paste and remove any seeds that you find inside. Finally, simmer until thickened, remove from the pan, and set aside. Next, we will prep our veggies. We'll start by slicing our shallot, Thai pepper, and our cilantro. Next, we will deep fry our shallot. I place mine on a mesh ladle, separating each of the shallot rings, and I deep fry that in vegetable oil on a very high heat. It should only take about a minute for those to become golden brown. Remove from the oil and set aside. Next, we'll prepare our eggs. It takes about two hours to bring those to room temperature, which is very important for our cooking process. Next, fill your pot with water, set on the stove and bring to a rolling boil. Only place the eggs in the pot once the water is boiling. At that time, set a timer for four minutes exactly. Remove the eggs immediately after four minutes and place in an ice bath to stop the cooking process. Once cooled, we can peel our eggs and inspect them to make sure that our yolk consistency came out just like we wanted. Before frying, please pat the eggs dry gently. We don't want our oil to overflow because we added water to oil. If your oil is an appropriate 350 degrees, it should only take about a minute to cook your egg golden crispy brown. You can slice your eggs immediately or allow them to cool if you would like your dish on the cooler side. I prefer my eggs to be nice and hot and I like my tamarind sauce to be nice and hot as well. The final step is garnish. We'll add our tamarind sauce, our spicy Thai pepper, our crispy golden fried shallot, garnish with fresh basil, sprinkle with cilantro, and enjoy this beautiful, tart, spicy dish. Thank you for joining me as I cook sun and eggs. I wanna share my tips with you on how the process might be easier when cooking these eggs. So if you are going for the runny yolk center, the eggs can be really difficult to peel because they're kind of floppy and it's really easy to 
tear off the entire white part, or it's really easy to crack the yolk by mistake. Uh, what you can do is cook your eggs the day before, leave them in the shell and just place them in a Ziploc baggie in your refrigerator overnight. And that does give them a little bit of a firmer shape and the peeling is easier. I would also suggest making sure that your oil is the right temperature. Oil above 300 degrees really is ideal. And whenever you plop your egg into the oil, you immediately want to see just the rumbling boil of that oil. And if your oil is hot enough, then when you put the egg in it, it should really only take about a minute to become golden brown and heat it all the way through. If your egg is taking a couple minutes to become golden, then your oil definitely is not hot enough. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. And it's so yolky, it even drips. So the egg really is just super crispy, but it's so soft. You always have the option also of cooking your egg all the way through if a runny yolk is something that just is not desirable to you. I prefer the runny yolk. I think that a runny yolk versus a fully cooked yolk tastes completely different. Um, and I just prefer how the yolk really like mixes with the tamarind sauce. So the sauce itself is like a sweet, tangy, tart sauce, okay? And the Thai peppers really give it a nice kick. And then of course we have the cilantro, but the veggie that really elevates it, I think to the next level is the basil. The basil really makes the flavors of this dish like pop and it just feels more complex with that basil. Um, also the shallots are super yummy. I prefer them homemade, but you can also buy the um, fried onion that is pre-packaged that would go nice on here. If you wanted to sprinkle some um, fried garlic, um, fresh or prepackaged, that would go really nicely on here as well. Now, if you try out this recipe and you're really struggling to get the yolk, the consistency that you need, or to get that crispy golden brown, or maybe when you're patting your egg dry, you keep breaking the yolk like I did, <laughs> it's okay. Progress, not perfection. Okay, just keep going keep giving it a try. If you need to refer back to my video, please do so. If you have additional questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help you. And as always, I appreciate your support. Thank you for joining me. Kep Jai.